Hello, my name is Marcia Jones, Associate Superintendent for the Springdale School District. I have been asked to visit with you about the Common Core maps. It appears that we are on an accelerated course in the adoption of the Common Core State Standards. I use the word accelerated because many of the supporting details about the Common Core State Standards are still being rolled out even as we are at the beginning stages of implementing the standards. And there is one significant missing piece, the assessment process. As you most likely already know, Arkansas is a member of the PARC Consortium. This consortium is the designer of the assessments as well as many of the instructional materials. Almost on a daily basis, we are receiving updates about the work taking place. Once our district was advised that the expectation for the state of Arkansas was to roll out the Common Core State Standards, we began looking for resources that supported the teaching of the standards. We needed to develop or find a curriculum that would support the teaching of the standards very quickly given the fast-paced implementation timeline. For clarity, I am defining the use of the word curriculum to include all of the experiences that students need in order to meet the performance outcomes implied in the standards. This includes the activities, assessments, the content and process skills as stated in the standards. How do we get hundreds of teachers across multiple grades prepared to implement a completely new set of standards with much greater rigor and more focus on analytical thinking? That was and continues to be a dilemma across the state. The Common Core maps were presented as a possible solution to the problem. The maps were created by teams of teachers under the leadership of Lynn Munson, a nationally known curriculum leader, with a grant from the Gates Foundation. Embedded within the curriculum maps were the Common Core State Standards recommended anchor books. Additionally, the way in which the units were designed they included the habits of mind required of students based on the sample assessments that were part of the unit design. It appeared to be an appropriate solution to moving the district into Common Core State Standards. And over the past two years, we've asked teachers to begin investigating the use of the maps. Last year, K-2 teachers were expected to implement the Common Core State Standards with the understanding that the maps provided a foundation for instruction. This year, we are obligated to implement the Common Core State Standards in grades 3 through 8. And again, we're expecting that the maps will be a foundation for instructions. The maps are a framework. They are not perfect. But they do provide a common approach to teaching the standards in a way that reflects the intent of the standards. Teachers will want to collaborate within and across buildings to arrive at an improved design. Some grade levels are already doing that. The essential questions will need to be tweaked in some of the units and not all of the activities will be used. Some will be replaced altogether. It is important that we use the Common Core maps across the district for two reasons. One, we don't have time or opportunity to ask teachers to create units of study that meet the intent of the standards. And two, we need some coherence in the pattern of instruction across the district when so many students move from school to school. We will find exceptions to this in our IB schools based on the expectations found within their planners. However, the overarching design in the IB planners is very similar to the design of the Common Core maps. Another important element of the Common Core maps is the focus on authentic literacy. Authentic literacy skills are those that promote critical and analytical thinking and reading and writing. We see examples of this in the use of close reading, comparing and contrasting literary elements between and among literary works, including art, music, and films, and as well as being able to examine literature from the viewpoint of the author. The design of the Common Core Maps also helps bring more complex reading experiences to the students as the units progress over time. Authentic literacy includes analytical writing that's required in research, argumentative writing that requires citing evidence from text, and the ability to use writing to concisely express an idea or opinion. All of these skills lead students to be college and career ready, which is the ultimate purpose behind the Common Core State Standards. The maps have been carefully designed so that all of the standards will be taught if all of the units are presented. 
The activities within the MAPS curriculum have opportunities for practice of authentic literacy. Included in the activities are the integration of variety of genre and use of informational and literary text as learning tools. We need a coherent curriculum across the district. During this time of transition, it appears that the Springdale School District and many other districts are relying on the Common Core maps. Each school has several copies of a useful book with a collection of the maps included. This text has been published by the authors of the maps. I recommend that the faculties read the introductions to this book as it explains much of the logic behind their design as well as suggestions for use. We are on a very interesting journey of transition. We will continue to be learners together. We will recognize that there is still an expectation to prepare for the benchmark which causes our planning to embrace a blended model. Personally, I regret this overlap, but in the area of literacy, if we work on the maps, I believe the expectations for literacy skills of students will be largely met. In your PLCs, you can discern what may be missing and fill in those gaps in a planned way. We are continuing to bring resources into the district to assist us in this journey. We're also prepared to give each teacher planning days that can be used to support the implementation process. The Springdale School District is doing incredible work. I applaud the work of each and every one of you. If you have suggestions or ideas that would help our students during this transition, please feel free to send them to me. I thank you for all that you do.